Mr. Churchill takes a good look at Germany with Field Marshal Montgomery, Sir Alan Brooke, and General Simpson of the American Ninth Army as his guides. Lunch is served inside the entrance to the citadel at Ulich, which used to proclaim how very German it was. It was an historic moment, this visit of a British Prime Minister to the soil of a conquered Rhineland. How different it is in spirit and meaning from Munich, the last time a British Premier went to Germany. A visit to the frontline gun site produces a characteristic Churchill gesture. Hitler personally, he writes on the giant shell, and the great 240 mm gun is plotted to fire on one of the main German escape routes across the Rhine. Mr. Churchill last visited Germany in 1931, when Hitler was a soapbox orator. This time, the dragon's teeth of the Siegfried Lion have been well and truly drawn. A symbol of the dreamland thousand-year Reich that fell apart before its 13th anniversary. Anyone can see that one good, strong heave all round will end the war in Europe, Mr. Churchill said during this trip. Five years ago, the Siegfried Lion song was a bit previous. But Pathé Gazette cameraman Kenneth Gordon sees how the boys did hang out the washing after all.